I'm Dr. Rosebud Roberts. I'm an epidemiologist at the Mayo Clinic. I work with the Mayo Clinic Study of Aging, which is a population-based study to identify risk factors for mild cognitive impairment in the community. What we're trying to do with our research is to identify people who are at increased risk to develop MCI in order that we can implement measures that can reduce their risk of developing the irreversible symptoms of dementia. And we're interested in finding out how common MCI is by measuring the number of new cases of MCI that develop in a given year and looking at the association or how it's related to age and to sex and to the level of education. And some of our key findings were the fact that in men, there was a higher incidence of MCI than in women. And this was particularly notable, or the difference was particularly notable in younger men, that's men who were 70 to 70, 70 to 79 years old than in those who were 80 to 89 year old, 89 years old. We also found that education, low education, had a greater adverse impact in men than it was in women. So that men who had a low level of education had a much higher risk of developing MCI than women. Understanding the incidence of MCI and knowing how many new cases develop in a given year in this particular age group of elderly persons will help us understand how to allocate healthcare resources for elderly persons and also will enable us to develop strategies to intervene in elderly people in order to reduce their risk of developing MCI. The reason this is an important finding is that it's much higher than we anticipated and it has important implications for public health, for the planning and allocation of resources for elderly persons. In addition, the studies using MRI can also help us identify people who, once they have MCI, are likely to progress rapidly to develop dementia. And again, these are people who may benefit from interventions, either through treatment or through changes in lifestyle and behavior, such as changes in diets, improving their diets, increasing their exercise level, mentally stimulating activities, which have all been shown in several studies to improve cognitive well-being in older persons.